Keep the Word of God strong in our lives. Keep the spirit of hope and the grace of healing alive every day. This is Keep the Faith, a daily celebration of the Holy Eucharist on Radyo Katipunan. Remain still as we welcome the light of the Word in our hearts. Good morning, brothers and sisters, and welcome to Keep the Faith, the daily celebration of the Holy Eucharist with the Jesuits here on Radio Katipunan. Today is the 4th of April, 2024, Thursday and the Octave of Easter. Our presider for this morning is Reverend Father Joel Liwanag of the Society of Jesus. Let us all rise as we sing the entrance hymn. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And on on earth, earth, peace peace to people people of goodwill. We We praise you, you, we bless you, we adore you, we we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have united the many nations in confessing your name, grant that those reborn in the font of baptism may be one in the faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Let us listen to the word of God. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. As the crippled man who had been cured clung to Peter and John, all the people hurried in amazement toward them. In the portico called Solomon's Portico, when Peter saw this, He addressed the people, You, children of Israel, why are you amazed at this? And why do you look so intently at us, as if we had made him walk by our own power or piety? The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his servant Jesus, whom you handed over and denied in Pilate's presence. 
when he de- had decided to release him. You denied the Holy and Righteous One and asked that a murderer be released to you. The author of life you put to death, but God raised him from the dead. Of this we are witnesses. And by faith his, in his name, this man, whom you see and know, his name has made strong, and the faith that comes through it has given him this perfect health in the presence of all of you. Now I know, brothers and sisters, that you acted out of ignorance, just as your leaders did. But God has thus brought to fulfillment what he had announced beforehand, through, what, through the mouth of all the prophets, that his Christ would suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be wiped away, and that the Lord may grant you times of refreshment, and send you the Christ already appointed for you, Jesus, whom heaven must receive until the times of universal restoration, of which God spoke through the mouth of his holy prophets from, the, from of old. A prophet like me and will the Lord, your God, raise up for you from among your own kin. To him you shall listen in all that he may say to you, Everyone who does not listen to that prophet will be cut off from the people. Moreover, all the prophets who spoke from Samuel and those afterwards also announced these days. You are the children of the prophets and of the covenant that God made with your ancestors when he said to Abraham, In your offspring, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. For you first, God raised up his servant and sent him to bless you by turning each of you from your evil ways. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, let our response be, O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. O Lord our God, How glorious is your name over all the earth. What is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you should care for him? O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. You have made him little less than angels, and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him rule over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. All sheep and oxen, yes, and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fishes of the sea, and whatever swims the paths of the seas. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. Please rise to honor the Holy Gospel. Alleluia, alleluia, this is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples of Jesus recounted what had taken place along the way and how they had come to recognize him in the breaking of bread. While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified and thought that they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones as you can see, I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, he asked them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you 
that everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures, and he said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, to you Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, these days of the Easter octave, we hear about the many resurrection accounts we find in Scripture. Today's Gospel reading from the Gospel of Luke is a continuation of yesterday's. In fact, the scene begins with the two disciples recounting their story of how they encountered the risen Lord on the road to Emmaus, sharing with the others how they failed to recognize him at first, but that they eventually did in the breaking of the bread. What is most interesting, though, is that while they were still discussing this, the risen Lord appeared to them again. But once again, they failed to recognize him, thinking that they were seeing a ghost. It's quite puzzling. Why did, what, why did they not recognize the risen Lord? Weren't they just talking about this? Why are they so slow to notice? Why do they continue to fail to recognize the risen Lord? In psychology, there is a phenomenon called confirmation bias. Confirmation bias. This tells us that we human beings have the tendency to favor information that supports our existing beliefs. In other words, information that would challenge or would debunk our existing beliefs are actually often ignored or rejected. When Jesus died on the cross, the disciples seem to have internalized the belief that it is over. Their hopes for salvation died with Jesus in Calvary. To them, it was clear, Jesus is dead, end of story. But how does Jesus respond to this persistent belief of theirs? He responds with persistent patience. He allows them to be startled, but slowly, gently, subtly, he tells them again and again and again, it is I, I am alive. I have risen from the dead. My dear friends, isn't this also the story of our lives? Isn't our life a persistent failure to see the risen Lord, a persistent failure to listen to Him? We need not worry, though, because the risen Lord is ever patient. He waits for us and He assists us. When we fail to notice Him, He tries His best to make His presence felt. Have you not, at some point in your life, experienced God's presence quite strongly? Have you not at some point noticed Him nudging you, trying to tell you something? Have you not at some point told yourself, Ah, this is the Lord. This is the Lord speaking to me. I invite you to ask yourself, Is the risen Lord here with you right now? At this very moment? Is he speaking to you? What is he trying to tell you? My dear friends, indeed, the risen Lord is alive. And to this day, he continues to reach out to us. All that he asks is that we open ourselves to him, that we allow him to enter. He is knocking at the door of our hearts. The question is, will we let him in? Amen.
Let us now rise and let us present our prayers to our Lord. The risen Lord appears to the disciples gathered in a room and gives them his gift, gift of peace. Then he gives them the task of preaching repentance for the forgiveness of sins. Let us pray that peace may reign in our hearts and in the whole world. For every prayer we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. Lord, bring your peace to the whole world, still divided by greed and looking for easy gain, wounded by the selfishness which threatens human life and the family, and selfishness that continues in human trafficking. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Bring your peace to earth, torn apart by the iniquitous exploitation of natural resources. Bring comfort to the victims of natural disasters and make us responsible guardians of creation. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Bring your word of peace to those enslaved by fear, to those in need of comfort, to those kneeling in weakness, and those feeling worthless. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. May the Virgin Mary help us draw with full hands the gifts of peace and serenity of the riser. One, and to share them with our brothers and sisters, especially with those who are in most need of comfort and hope. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. May the souls of all the departed, through the mercy of God, Rest in peace, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. For, tho Sorry. for those celebrating their birthdays, Lesan Perez, Tyler Bergan, Mirel Capoza, Angel Bunyag, Father Eric Velandria SJ, Dolly Billiote, Lita Santos, and Jason Jervina, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the healing of Mert Loinaz, Annie Hizon, May Sines, Michelle Salvador, Tisha Aganon, Karina Ali, Abby Puno, Seth Verhel de Dios, Joaquin Patawaran, Michelle Munez, Jasmine Ancheta, and Mario Rodriguez. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the souls of Father John Hutchinson, Father John Lipman, Father James Donnellan, Sitong Sandico, Alana Shane Avellana, and Father Rene Ocampo, SJ. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the special intentions of Lillian Vergara, Mike and Mau Miklat, Myra Lontok, Karina Ali, Slendi Neng, Jego and Joaquin, Elo Santiago, Dennis and Sel, Nate and Hans, and Annie Bautista. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions sent to our Facebook pages at Jescom and Radio Katipunan, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, through the resurrection of Jesus, your Son, you reconcile the sinful world to yourself. We thank you for your gift of peace and make us its instruments. Amen. 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 Please be seated. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously be pleased, O Lord, to accept the sacrificial gifts we offer joyfully, both for those who have been reborn and in hope of your increased help from heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Onesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And now, my dear brothers and sisters, at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in, your days, in our days, but that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. 
The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace to everyone. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Please rise. Hear, O Lord, our prayers that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your Lord. spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Seas of broad and built the lofty.